Hey everybody, Eric over at Gearhead Daily. Uh, we're in Chasco with Jim Hall of TPIS. He has uh, gladly said that he would help us dyno our LS376 GM crate motor. And uh, a lot of guys say, oh, you don't need a dyno motor. It's not a big deal. You just throw it in, you, you, you give it a hell. Jim, why do you want a dyno motor first before, <laughs> well, you, before you drive it? When an engine's new, it's new. Um, hopefully you've screwed everything together, everything's tight. All your clearances are correct. You'll find out soon enough. Yeah, if it's not. <laughs> um, the most important thing to dynoing a motor is not only so you can tell your buddies what power it made and all this mm -hmm. stuff, but um, bragging rights. Yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure that nothing leaks. It's always a good thing. Um, you have a good oil pressure. Um, Need that. Really, the most important thing that I feel breaking in a motor is seating the piston rings as quickly as possible. Um, so you don't blaze the cylinders. Um, that's a huge problem um, with customers we have where they put an engine in a car and it burns off from day one. It's because they sat there in their garage for a half hour setting the timing or it leaked and they shut it off and this and that. So, um, so. Here, here you can put a load on it. Yeah, right. you can load the engine. We have a specified kind of recipe for breaking in a motor. Um, so th that's really what you're doing. You want to break the motor in first. And then from there we can go on an EFI motor, even a carbureted motor. We can check the timing at certain RPM ranges and load ranges. Uh, make sure your mixture is correct. Just generally make sure everything is working properly. So um, There's a lot of stuff going on in a motor, right? I think you would agree. Oh, yeah. A lot of moving parts, a lot of complicated things, and you want to make sure it's working right because it's a lot of work to take a motor, put it in a car, yep. take it out, fix it, yep. get back and forth. And this way, you know exactly how much power it makes. Correct. You can make adjustments if you need to. If it's running yep. too rich or too lean. You can move your camshaft, advance or sure. retard it, things like that. Yeah, a lot of complicated math that uh, I don't understand, but I'm, I'm, right. sure, I'm sure you've got it all figured out. So uh, I mentioned to fire this thing up, so uh, we got to we got to break it in yep. first, then yep. uh, we'll do a couple pulls, yep. um, and uh, hopefully that's it. So let's fire it up. Yeah. yeah. Hit it. So we fired up the motor, we gave it a couple pulls. Uh, Jim, how do you think it went? <laughs> uh, it went just fine. Um, a lot of times when you buy a crate motor and it comes with a computer, sometimes things need a little bit of tweaking, but sure. um, generally, it, I mean, it fired right up, which is what an EFI motor is supposed to do, which is one of the nice things about fuel injection. It um, is. A little bit rich in a few areas, but we're gonna be putting it in the car, so when we get it in the car, We'll bring it back, we'll put it on the chassis dyno because the exhaust will be different, it'll have an air filter and things like that that can change some things. So, um, otherwise, it, it ran well. Uh, GM quotes it at 525 horse, right? Yeah. Uh, 475 foot pounds, and we're like within two or three on both. So, I would yeah. say with just a little bit of tweaking, as advertised, right? That's what they would call it, right? right. As seen on TV, uh, seen on TV. Right. this would be so. YouTube in that case, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, it's a great motor, um, yep. 
all you do is put a Sonel Lash motor, you put a cam in it, and they make it pop. So. Yeah. All aluminum, doesn't weigh very much. No. They're lighter than a small block in some yep. cases. And uh, the car we're putting in is pretty light. Yep. So that'll really help. It goes along with the theme. Exactly. So, uh, as advertised, as you heard from the man himself, we tested it, it's all done. And uh, we're going to go plop it in the car. So, stick around and uh, don't forget to subscribe.